Turbo Graphics 16 is a Scrap Year album that was originally planned to release in the summer of 2016 as a follow-up to the seventh studio album, The Life of Pablo. It was named after the video game console once again, Turbo Graphics 16, which he had described to be his favorite throughout his childhood. The album was likely scrapped around the time that it was released from the UCLA Medical Center. Yeah had a separate album titled Love Everyone as well that was scrapped just two weeks before the Ye album was released in June 2018. Now we all know that Ye makes music and scraps it. Like Ye's music is very progressive. Like take Down the Two for instance. Like the album didn't even drop officially and there are still you know, you, we can see the music evolve throughout time. Another example would be The Life of Pablo when St. Pablo was added on months down the line. And there was also tweaks being made throughout months after the release um, to the album. So this is something that's not new. But the fact that we have many information of eras and also music from eras just makes it as a fan exciting and fun. And, you know, you just start thinking about the possibilities of albums that actually came out and how crazy they would have sounded so it's always good that we get glimpses of secret eras that mu that artists are working on now the whole turbo graphics 16 era was very short-lived but i loved every element of it we didn't get much um we did get a couple tracks we got some type of concept track list as well as some type of concept art by fans but the whole era and the direction that yay was going on with was pretty cool and very experimental one of my favorite songs on well from this era um is definitely hold tight um featuring migos and young thug close tight close tight hold tight hold tight hold tight hold tight hold tight hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight hold aside from that song there are many other unreleased tracks and they're all pretty pretty good once again, TurboGrafx-16, the potential was there. The potential was certainly there. Um, but I'm glad we got Ye. And, you know, once again, we got a glimpse into what this project was going to be. And that alone is a lot, especially for us Ye fans. Um, but yeah, that's about it. TurboGrafx-16, do you guys fuck with it? Do you guys remember being a Ye fan around that time? And it's the patient for it around that time? It was literally insane. Um, but yeah. That's about it.